will not be the only time that Steve Lonig and I are together between now and October 16th. We're going to help him raise money. Senator Chies is going to help him. Lieutenant Governor Guadano is going to help him. And the apparatus of the Republican Party is going to be behind Steve Lonigan between now and October 16th to bring us to victory. We thank you for your leadership, your leadership in putting New Jersey back on track towards economic prosperity, and your leadership in the nation in putting the Republican back on track and our country back on track. We are indebted to you for that. Some people wondered whether we'd ever see this happen, given the governor's own re-election campaign, and what happened four years ago when Christie and Lonigan aimed barbs at each other as they competed for the Republican gubernatorial nomination. I'm proud of the record that I have as a Morris County freeholder. I think we were able to do some good things in the three years that I was there. Mr. Lonigan, a 30-second response. I'm surprised with that record, Chris. You weren't reelected after one term. What Steve doesn't understand is the reason I wasn't renominated is because I fought the status quo. Well, that history is not lost on the governor himself, who had this encounter with our David Cruz just a few hours before he endorsed Lonigan. How much energy do you have for the Lonigan candidate? <laughs> well, I, I, think, I think, David, it's a little premature to assess my energy at 12 o'clock for a 4.30 event. One reporter who showed up at my earlier event with uh, uh, Secretary Donovan up Munaki and said, um, what kind of energy are you going to have for your endorsement of Mayor Lonigan? I said, well... You know, it's kind of early at noon to be asking what my energy is going to be at 4.15. Well, my energy is just fine. Let there be no doubt in anybody's mind about that or about my energy for this endorsement. Yeah.